Hello everybody, I am Benjamin Magnus, and today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4. Finally, it's been a very long time coming. I'm extremely excited to have my hands on the game, and we're going to be starting our first playthrough as the German Reich. Uh, it has a few political modifiers here. General Staff, we get a division organization of 5%, and planning speed of 25%, and we are bitter losers. So we're not going to drift away from fascism because we're bitter over the defeat in World War I. I'm going to be playing on regular, which gives me no bonus and no debuff, and we're going to have it on Iron Man mode, so there is no save scrubbing. And before we start up here, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have the NATO symbols on. Uh, if we take them off, uh, all the division markers default to uh, just regular, like, a little infantryman helmet, little, uh, little truck, little tank. But I do prefer the NATO symbols. It's just a holdover from Hearts of Iron 3, I think. I do tend to like those a little bit better. So we're going to stick with those. First things first, research. I have four research slots here. And I found that going um, with your industrial stuff early on is usually pretty good. Uh, produ production efficiency cap is going to give us 5% uh, percent extra production efficiency. Um, maximum, you can actually see that in our factories here. Right now, the production efficiency cap is only 50%, but that'll go up with time. Uh, do, 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 do. And we're going to do construction. Construction speed 10%. We're going to do oil plants. Uh, synthetic refinery level 2. That's going to be very important for us because we start out low on oil and rubber. And what is the other thing I like to grab? Ah, uh, electronic mechanical engineering, which gives us research time 2%. We're going to need to assign our civilian factories. Uh, I generally like to... You, it, very first thing... I like to do is spend my civilian factories to build more civilian factories, but I think what I'll actually start with is maybe like two synthetic plants because we do need those pretty badly, five and two. Or no, let's do it like this. Um, let's let's stack it up. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't be. I can't yet because I haven't researched that second tech. So let's just leave one on there, and then we'll do um, civilian factories over towards this side. Uh, I'm not going to build my my military factories over this way just yet because I don't have any anti-aircraft guns over here, I don't think. Nope, I only have a couple anti-aircraft guns in Brandenburg in uh, East Prussia over here. Okay, so military factories. I need to assign these guys some tasks. Uh, I'm going to tell them to infinity build the Type 2A submarines. Those are the only ones we have available right now. Uh, I'm going to put a couple extra... Factor. Well, let's do two extra, one extra, um, four extra. I want to make sure my Air Force is modern and up to date. Um, tanks, yes. Artillery, yes. Equipment, yes. That leaves us with four, four more factories. I don't think there's anything in particular I need. Well, we can build some. We can start building heavy tanks if we really wanted to. Oh, those are those are beasts, though. Also needs. Um, I mean, should we? I mean, we're Germany. Why not? Let, let's just... Let, let, let's put, like, two factories on it, though. And let's get them... Um, yeah, let's put them above the ships, but below the planes. Uh, so th they'll be worked, but... We're only, right now, we're only building eight per year. That's pretty bad, but we'll fix that. We'll fix that. And it's actually going to give me a little um, notification here that I'm not actually using those. Should we? I don't know. It seems like a terrible... No, no, no. Let's, let's keep it on there. We like heavy... We're Germany. We're Germany. We like heavy tanks. Love heavy tanks. And we still have... So let's do three. Let's add another one there and another one there. That should be 40. Yep. All of our factories are in use, actually. There we go. I, I found fighters to be very, very important. Very important. Uh, we need a national focus. I'm going to start with the Rhineland here, which is going to allow us to occupy this demilitarized zone. We are not building any divisions at the moment, and I think what I'm going to do is maybe plop on, like... Um, see, well, this says SS division. It doesn't actually... There's, there's nothing, you know, in the game that makes it an SS division. It's just a motorized infantry division. It's just... The SS is just there for flavor, I think. Because, I mean, it's just motorized infantry, support artillery, engineers, and a recon company. That's it. Uh, there's nothing, uh, there's not, it's not like in Black Ice or anything like that where 
Um, there was some. There were specific HQs that give it extra suppression or something. So why don't we? Why don't we bring up? No, not not like that. We're gonna go add unit. Plop them in right here. Two more motorized infantry divisions. Um, let's pop in two more Panzer divisions as well right here. And then let's do a ton more infantry. Let's go. Uh, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight at a time. Let's do ten. That's 11, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to do one run of those, one run of those, but we'll keep this... Well, why don't we do... Let, let's say five runs. That's 50 more infantry divisions. That'll keep us going for a good long while. And let's put them uh, in Hanover. Good. That works for me. All right. No template. Uh, so this, this is just telling us we're um, building heavy tanks, but we're not actually... Uh, using them in our armed forces just yet. Uh, what we're going to do is grab a couple divisions here, assign an army. We're going to give them, let's give Paulus control, and we're going to assign them to the French frontier. And they're going to head on over that way. They will not enter the the demilitarized zone until um, re-occupation of the Rhineland completes. And we are low on oil, rubber, and chromium, which is unfortunate. We're going to have to do some trading. So, oil. Um, let's go with Romania first. But in my experience, Romania generally defaults and is not able to provide that much oil. So why don't we go with 24? How many did we actually need? Well, that, that gets us almost there. We need 14 rubber. Uh, I'm going to buy that from the Netherlands. And we need chromium. Soviet Union, Turkey, France, Yugoslavia... You can buy it from Yugoslavia. It's right there. Or Sweden. Yeah, let's just get it from Sweden. There we go. That'll take care of our shortages for the most part. I mean, a little bit of oil is there, but not a big deal. Uh, that is going to use up some of our factories here. So we're not going to be building at our, you know, optimal rate. But we'll we'll get some we'll get some civilian factories later. Uh, we'll actually get some from. Uh, the left side of the focus tree here, industrial effort one and two gives you more civilian factories to work with. And what we're going to do is we're going to go bounce from the Rhineland over to Reichshautobahn, and then Westwall, industrial effort, and industrial effort two. All right, cool. Uh, now what we're going to do is, I think, assign some of these guys to garrison the frontier with Poland. So I'll create another army right here. Boom, ten divisions. Uh, why don't we give this one to a field marshal, because they're probably going to end up with a lot of men over here. So, Von Klug. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I feel like I am, but I might not be. Uh, and I'm going to leave the Panzer Divisions and the Motorized Divisions right here by themselves, because they might end up forming the backbone of the Condor Legion that we send off to Spain. And I do plan on sending them to Spain. It's actually pretty cool when you do that, because you do get to control them when they're over there. I don't know how many you can send over, though. I don't think it's very much. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, you know what? I, I want to improve relations with some people, but I think I'm going to wait. Uh, I don't want to spend the political power to do that just yet until we have a little bit more coming. Uh, uh, when I complete the reoccupation of the Rhineland, uh, I'm actually going to get a boon of political power. I think it's like 120 or something. Yeah, and, only, and each focus only takes... 70 days, I think. Just over two months. Let's, see, let's actually look at our production real quick. Uh, here we go. Still getting used to the interface a little bit. And what we're going to want to do is either assign some heavy tanks to our panzer divisions. Hmm. Oh, you know I, I need that exp I need experience. Let's let's take... Is this Von Klug? This is... Yeah, Gunther Von Klug. Uh, and let's let's have him exercise. So these guys are going to... Actually, that might not be the best idea in the world. They're already at regular level, which means they're not going to... You can't exercise them past regular, I don't think. I don't think they'll gain any experience from that. But why don't we take a look at Paulus' army? Oh, they're all good, too. So right now, exercising would get us a little bit of experience, but that's about it. We can leave it on for now. It's going to use a little bit of equipment, 
uh, but it'll get us experience we need, and you're going to use experience. If you guys don't know yet, uh, you use experience to modify your divisions. So, like, you can go over here, like, if I want to, I can go to a panzer division and say I want to add on uh, heavy tanks at the cost of five experience, which is not that much, but I don't have any right now, so. Actually, let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, really low on equipment for everybody. Really low on equipment. So we're definitely going to need to get this, all this up. Ooh, and we're down on, by 10 oil now. Is Romania defaulting? I thought I was... D yeah, they, they can't even... Uh, I was going to ask for 32, knocked it down to 24, and they can't even supply that. So I am... I am heartily down on oil right now. Um, let's get some more from Venezuela. They are fascist, so... I'll be good for that. And they are supplying it correctly. France and Britain mobilize. Oh! Oh! France declares war on the Reich. Gets a vent. Germany refuses ultimatum. The communist supporters start a civil war. Wow, I've never had this happen before. This is like my fourth or fifth time going through the beginning stages here. I have never, never had them. Holy crap. I've never seen that happen before. France declares war on the German Reich. Gets a vent. Germany refuses ultimatum. So the Britain and French refuse to accept the remilitarization of the Rhineland, calling it an unforgivable breach of the Treaty of Versailles. They're mobilizing their forces against us and have issued an ultimatum that our forces back down at once and the Rhineland remain demilitarized or our nations are at war. So what, what does that mean for me here? Huh. I wonder how much, because this is going to skip all the way down to war with France. I wonder how much of this is, is going to bypass. I guess we'll see in a second because I'm not going to back down. Read militarization on the Rhine. In a dark, direct violation of the Treaty of Versailles, German troops have crossed the Rhine and entered the Rhineland territory closed, close to the French border, calling this an unforgivable breach of the treaty. Oh, it's unpaused. Uh, end of the Great War. Both France and Britain mobilized their force in preparation for an armed incursion into Germany. War is once again broken out in Europe. Germany will prevail. Uh, the French commune declared war on France? A message from France changes their diplomatic status to declare war. Well, that was interesting. Hmm. Well, right now we're going to do this. Start. I'm glad I didn't have his armies uh, exercising, but what we're going to need to do is... Oh, Gunter von Klug, you're going to need to stop exercising and redeploy to Frankfurt. Um, I have noticed something I think is a bug in the game. Uh, no matter what, even if it says strategic deployment is off right here, your units will strategically redeploy. Don't know why. Uh, I'm going to add the Panzer and SS Division straight into Paulus's army and have them um, assign them to the the border region here. Uh, so we're all, they're automatically going to spread out. We're at war. Italian War in Ethiopia, the French-German War, and the French Civil War. So this is the French Civil War right here. Those must have been French... Who, who is this? The French Communists broke away from France. Interesting. All right, this is new. This is this is very new. This is very interesting. Um, didn't expect it. Did not expect this at all. So I was not at all prepared. I've... I, like I said, ne never seen this happen, so what we're going to do is I'm going to transfer all of my forces uh, over to other air... You know, I'm, I'm going to move all these planes uh, into western Germany here. Uh, who do we got over here? We've got tactical bombers and close air support. We're going to move those over. All right, good. All right, and hopefully that we can uh, reoccupy this area before... Unfulfilled import. Oil from Romania is still low. Modified government. Okay. Uh, let's add on to do, do, do Rolf Hess here. He's going to give us more political power to work with. Uh, we are at war with France, but nobody else. 
This is the French-German War. Allies not in war. United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. Okay. That's good. Nobody else joined in. And we have air wings that don't have missions. Okay, you can just stay there for now. Uh, I'm not too worried about this yet. Uh, the French were not... I was not prepared. The French were not prepared. South Africa joined. That's okay. Canada has joined. But not England? That makes it easy to raid the hell out of the French coast, I think. New Zealand joined. Australia has joined. Send volunteer. Ooh, Japan wants to send us some divisions to help, yes. Alright, so submarine, you get in there. Let's do this. Let's merge these fleets together, and then what I'm going to do is split off all the submarines. Uh, how many do I have? 15 submarines. Oof. We're going to give them a sub-commander. Wolfpack. Carl Dernitz. Dernitz? I don't know. I don't know. I'm terrible at German. All right. We're going to put them on convoy raiding. And we're going to give, send them to the Bay of Biscay, the English Channel. Oh. Oh, my bad. Um, just click there. So you. Well, I want to select you. So it was the Bay of Biscay, the English Channel. And um, how about... Do you think they would be sending ships uh, up this way? Or how about here? What the Western approach is. So uh, I'm at war with France. So this is going to be good for me. Uh, I don't think the French are going to be able to stop my submarines. And I don't think I'm going to be sending out surface raiders just yet. They're pretty weak. I haven't built any battle cruisers or anything. I don't have much to work with. Now these guys are... I think they're strategically... No, they're just walking. Interesting. I guess I was wrong there. All right, so at least the border is solid. Uh, let's see, where are all of our planes? Naval bombers, I don't necessarily want you doing anything. And what I like to do early on here is merge some of these together so that they're larger. And you can see, that, like, I just merged um, some obsolete um, uh, uh, hinkles with... Well, some modern Hinkles with some obsolete um, Donor 23s there. And we got some close air support here. What I'm going to do is take these fighters, and I'm going to tell them um, to just um, intercept anybody that goes up into the northwest German territory. Let's actually close these off. This is western Germany, right? We've got fighters, transports, tactical bombers. Uh, I'm going to put the fighters and the tactical bombers here. Uh, if the British come out... Or the, the French um, try to attack, they're going to be signed um, to close air support, and these guys are going to be signed to air intercept as well. And we are going to do the same thing here. Uh, air intercept, and there we go. Good. All right, so the air forces are out and about. This has been a very interesting um, turn of events. Didn't see it coming. So the planes are out and about now. French are sitting on the border. The French communists are right there. I mean, the border is undefended for the most part what is what I'm seeing maybe they're distracted can we get we can't get the Italians in can we no, they don't like us enough but we can have a non-aggression pact with them Wow uh, so didn't see this coming I mean we can try let's let's at least set them a offensive plan um, oof. Let's see, I don't want them to go too far, but I do want them to take as much land as they possibly can. These guys, uh, we are going to... Alright, let's do this. Let's set these guys a front line, um, like, over here. Oh, nope, no, that was wrong. Delete that. All right, this is I. I'm a little out of my my element here because I did not expect this. We're gonna set these guys up right here, and we're gonna give them a um, an offensive line. Uh, let's have them. Let Let's have these guys try to push a little further down, uh, like like this. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to the original um, to Paulus's army here. Let's edit this. Uh, let's drag this to, um, to like this, um, like that. Okay. Yeah, 
That's that's why I want that. Okay. No divisions are assigned to this. Okay, so we'll just assign some divisions to that. There we go. Holy God. Uh, where do we we stand deployment wise over here? United. Okay, the United Kingdom did just joined in. The United Kingdom did join in. Oh no. Oh, they immediately. Some destroyers immediately found our submarines. Um, hopefully. Oh, and their capital ships are coming in too. Invite to faction. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, Italy. Oh, this, this got cranking real fast, didn't it? Alright, let's. Alright, I can't see. I can't see what Italy's got yet, but Italy is going to join in on this. Where? Okay, these guys are coming. We're gonna get our battle plan set up. We're, I mean, this is, is it, this is a sovereign state, right? It's fighting an offensive war. I can't invite them to, my, the, to the faction. Oh, they're com that's because they're communists. Um, they're they're useful though. All right, so what's hap what's happening over here? Submarines are getting plastered. Well, it doesn't look like anything's happening. No, 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 no. Are, are they dying? Am I losing them or are they falling out? Damn it. I don't actually want them to attack. It looks like they're all dead. No, it says 15 still. Where'd the submarines go? Oh, no, nobody died, doesn't look like. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, this is... This is hopping already. The Italians are marching in. Uh, I'm waiting for the battle plans. Um, these ones are almost done. These guys are there, but they were waiting on organization. Um, but it's going good. Wow, 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 wow. All right, we're start. Okay, we're starting to raid. The raids, the raids are starting to take effect. Oh my God. How many extra well, wings with no missions? Who the tactical bombers here? Okay, um, tactical bombers. Uh, why don't we assign first for now? Why don't we just do this? Close air support, tactical bombers. Let's move you down here so that you're closer to the front with France because I'm going to need you over there. Oh, this is going to start popping off pretty soon. The enemy is stronger. What I think I'll do is I'll launch this one first. Let's get this up. Max 19%. Oh, that's not good. Max of 19% is not good. I promise to arrive. Oh, the Japanese, ha uh, two Japanese divisions have arrived. And how are the Italians doing? They're attacking. The Italians do have their battle plans and they're lined up pretty well with mine actually. Let's actually alter this bet. Uh, I don't want to alter the battle. It's already set up and, and raring to go. I don't want to alter it anymore. What I think I'll do is launch this one. And then once uh, we've breached the flank, we can launch this one and see what happens. Because uh, there's basically nobody here right now. And we are... 10% <laughs> is all we got. What's going on in the Bay of Biscay? Uh, we're attacking a convoy of three ships. All right, those guys are going to die. So let's, why don't we try this? Um, we're going to take these guys and we're going to assign them to northern France. Well, th these fighters don't have range. Uh, tactical close air support. Yeah, that's actually what I want them to do. Uh, we're going to assign these guys. Take all of them and assign them to France. Uh, close air support. Everybody's going on a close air support. Uh, air superiority. Transports, let's take you off. Uh, where are all my fighters? Are they all up here? Oh, well, there's 160 fighters. Can we not assign them to Northern France? Oh, they are, are they already assigned? Uh, well, they're too far away, so let's, let's move them to Württemberg. And then, well, I think we could just do is this. 
Yep, yeah, that, that works. Northern France. Everybody's uh, assigned to Northern France right now. And we are gonna let, we're, we're gonna let we're we're gonna start getting this going. Uh, we can modify the government again. We're gonna take another where where is it? Silent workhorse. Political power gain. We're gonna take more political power. Well, this is very interesting. This is extremely interesting. The Italians are not prepared. I was not prepared. Nobody was prepared. I don't know where all their divisions are. Their navy is all in port. It might still all be down here. Ethiopia still exists. Wow. Oh, uh, this is very interesting. Why don't we launch this attack? I mean, this episode's basically almost over, but why don't we launch the attack and see what happens? Uh, I don't think the French national unity is very high. It's 20%. So France would fall easily. Why don't we do... Let, let's launch it. We're going to activate this plan. And hopefully it'll, it'll go well. We're gonna wait to to the to breach the lines here, and then we'll go around over. Not doing very well on these attacks, but we should have four support planes. We should have air superiority. We do. All right, we're starting to take French land already. Just blasted through there. I don't know where the French armies are. We're actually losing that. We're eight divisions defending one French division. 152. Wow. River crossing, fort minus 100, 110%. Terrain minus 30%. So we're basically not doing anything to the forts there. Yeah, let's get this guy in and see if we can't help it out. All right, we got to start. We got to start doing something ourselves. All right, let's... I mean, these French divisions are going to sit here. And get in our way, aren't they? Let's grab... Uh, we, the fast guys got to get going. I'm going to say, we're, I, don't, I don't like that the AI just dogpiles on like that with absolutely nothing... Um, with, 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 with you know, no no chance. I mean, we don't need a lot. We could just take a, a division and go like this. That's probably a fort. Yeah, attack of one. That's pretty bad. Uh, this other... Where are these guys? That, not you. You and you. Break off this attack. It's not getting you anywhere. And just start going towards VPs, because we might be able to get f a 20% unity. Taking their capital might do the damn trick. Who's going to get there first? Do they have anybody in there? Oh, they do. Okay. So cancel that. And my organization's super low. Why is this organization? Is it for moving? Or maybe the attacks were just bad. That actually made things worse. Can we take secondary VPs and get this? Let's see what happens. So this was worth... Well, let's pause this uh, and look at current wars. Um, French Civil War, French German War. War is 23 for, per, uh, going 23% in favor of the defenders. France is 47% towards capitulation. We control... If it controls 90% of victory points, and we'll capitulate 80% or less. Okay, so we might be able to VP rush them. Three there. Ten there. Yeah, let's just VP rush them and see what happens. Um, might be able to do it. Let's, let's just do this real fast, because the episode's almost over. Vichy, Lyon. Alright, let's see what this war looks like now. now France is 72%. It controls 85% of victory points and we'll get you... Okay. So we need 5 more percent. Um, let's take a look around. See what we can come up with. F 
five. Or doors 20. So why don't we do this? I really I w really want to see if we can get France to capitulate in the goddamn first episode. So let's see if we can VP rush them and see what happens. I mean, this is very, very, extremely unlikely to have happened. Military factories, um, more on fighters. We're gonna we're gonna VP rush their their cities and see what happens. Because we're not gonna beat them in the field. Our armies are just not that good. This was five. Alright, so you're there. You detour up. No, you detour to La Rochelle. France capitulates! Ha! Oh my god! Alright, so, um, France... Defeated by Germany, April 13th, 1936. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, did I never see that coming. Oh my god, that's a great first episode. France is out of the war. Alright everybody, we're going to leave this episode right here and pick it up tomorrow. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.